fucking dumbass. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Things Chris Does channel. A place where we go on a lot of adventures. And we do a lot of cool things. And everyone's welcome here. It's also a place where you'll never hear me refer to myself as your boy. Today, we're changing the oil in the Katana 600 because it's getting a little bit dark. Almost like the beer I drink. I can say dad jokes like that now because I'm a dad. And if that's not working, I'll turn this car around right now. Today, since it's Friday, we have a vanilla porter by Breckenridge Brewery. Super good beer. Ah. I'm a stout and porter kind of guy. It's just my thing when I drink dark beer, and I absolutely love this stuff. The procedure is pretty much the same for all bikes, but if you have this particular bike, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So that way you don't have to pay someone else to. So we scroll on over here to the bike. Here's your little oil indicator. It tells you the oil level, and you can also check the color to see if your oil needs to be changed. And I'll show you what it looks like here. Yeah, you see how dark she is? So let's head over into the garage and I'll show you the supplies that you need. Don't worry, I'm gonna stop rolling in like that. It's getting kind of annoying. So welcome to my little garage slash shop. It's kind of a pigsty. It's a fucking pigsty. And you know what? I've been busy. I finally got a chance to start cleaning it. So we're gonna redo all of this. But for now, we're gonna focus on the oil change because I don't wanna overwhelm you. So my particular bike, 2006 Suzuki Katana, 2006 Suzuki, the two, my particular bike, the 2006. So my particular bike, the 06 Katana 600, requires 3.7 quarts of oil and converted to milliliters, I think it's like 3,500 milliliters of oil. I mean, you can look it up yourself for whatever bike you have, but the bike requires a premium quality four stroke oil. So the stuff that I got is Mag 1, full synthetic blend, 10W40, high performance oil. Next thing you're gonna need is your oil filter. This one that I got, the Fram PH6018. I believe the conversion for the k &N filter, which is pretty common, is the k &N 138 or 138C, something like that. I'll leave it up to you. There's charts online you can convert the codes over to to get the right size and different brands. But the difference between this one and the k &N oil filter, the KN filter has a little bolt cap on the top so you can actually put a ratchet physically on this and not have to get that stupid cup that goes over these. I obviously hadn't replaced the plastics with the new ones so I don't have that lower cowling. And I'm gonna be able to get to this fairly easy with my grip wrench, um, the oil filter wrench if you will. I'll show you what that looks like. Let's see if I can find it. Right here. These save your ass when you don't have the tools for the specific cup here, the oil filter. Sometimes if you take a welder and you put a couple tacks on the inside, or you scuff it up with a screwdriver, it'll grip the oil filter a lot better. But having the joint in here to be able to get around those pipes is a definite must. Something to catch the oil. And instead of spending $11 or whatever on one of those oil drip pans, I got me just a, you know, $3 cat box, cat litter box from the dollar store. And it works great because most oil drip pans are round and only about this big. So you have to have that for the oil coming out of the, the hole and you have to have another little something up front for the oil coming out where the filter is. And it's super annoying. This little cat litter box fits across that whole area so you can drip it all into one pan. Kind of nice. Mmm! You're also gonna need a funnel and a 17 millimeter socket. Back outside. Okay, time to pull out that oil drain plug. You also wanna make sure that your oil is somewhat warm. So either start the bike up if it's cold. In my case, I just got back from a little ride and it's been sitting out here in the sun for a while, so it'd be plenty warm. You don't want it hot. Thank God. 
Apparently I thought I was fucking Hercules last time I put this bolt on. Right at that perfect temperature. And it's okay if you drop your plug. You can get it later. Don't worry about it. What I always do is I rip off this, set it right next to it, and it's right there. The katanas are oil slash air cooled. There's no antifreeze in there, so there's a lot of oil. So make sure you give it plenty of time to drain out. Pop that filter off. Gets gloves, doesn't even use them. What an idiot. I don't always wear gloves during an oil change, but when I do, probably means I'm gonna rub one out later. Look how freaking dark that is. She was a dirty girl. So there's the filter. We're gonna go in between and get up there and take her out. Scoot this back just for a second so I can crack it loose because most of the oil is drained out, but there is still gonna be some in the filter. Oh fuck, apparently Hercules put this one on too. There she comes. Come here, you sassy little bitch. Yep, see how much more oil is coming out of there? Nice and, well, dirty. Well, now would be a good time to talk about the new sticker that's going on the bike. I've had a few family members that have had cancer and I've actually lost my grandma from cancer. So, in support of her and everyone else who's fighting the battle, I'm gonna ride with this on my bike. Cause I love you guys. If any of you guys have stickers you want me to put on the windshield, I will definitely do that. So that way your sticker can be in all my moto vlog things episodes. Just send it over to me and I'll put it on the windshield. This will kind of be my thing. Because I love showing my support for others. Voila. Fuck cancer. Looks good. Keep fighting, guys. And I'm switching to Coors Banquet. Some cheaper stuff. Because when I buy the good, good stuff, I like it to last. You know, you savor the taste, you savor the pack. Coors Banquet's always there for me. So your oil fill cap is underneath this little panel. And to get this out, if you have one of these guys, it's your happy little 7 64ths Allen wrench. Alright, let some of the air through and let her drain a little more out. Alright, so now we're at the point where it's dripping about every two or three minutes. So that's good enough for me. We're going to put the cap back in and start filling it back up with oil. You don't want to tighten it super tight because if you strip it out then you're fucked. So just get her nice and snug and then one little kind of quarter inch turn in there. Well, time for the filter. So before you put your new filter on, make sure you dip your finger in a little bit of oil. Doesn't matter if it's the old stuff or the new stuff. And just rub it around that oil ring. Otherwise, it's going to burn it up and you're not gonna have one anymore. So make sure you put plenty of oil on it. You get her nice and wet. Okay, shimmy it back in there. Whatever tool you have to get this off, grab that again, and we'll use it to tighten it back down. You don't wanna over tighten these. A lot of people do that and they either strip it out or they cave in their oil filter. So just don't be dumb about it. All right, and that's about good. So let's slap that funnel in and start filling it back up with oil. Again, that's 3.7 quarts or 3,500 milliliters. You can watch, tip the bike upright and watch in your indicator here to make sure you don't overfill it because if you do, you're gonna foul your plugs and it's gonna be a whole other problem. You see how much cleaner of a color that is? It looks so much better than before. So what I do is I make sure I get almost to the fill line, I'll run the bike, turn it off, let it cool down, um, and then after that, check it again. You might have to top it off some, because once the oil gets up into the oil filter, it's gonna drop a little bit here. The bike's ready to roll. I turned it on, ran it for a little while, let the oil get up into the filter, then I shut it off, let it cool all the way down, topped it back off again to the fill line. Don't forget to do that. I'm gonna go for a quick ride. So that is it for this one, guys. I hope I was able to help you out. Hope you